Here we want to find y. First, we note that there is no diameter here. Second, although we have a cyclic quadrilateral, we do not have the value of the angle at the vertices of the cyclic quadrilateral. So how are we going about to solve this question? We go back to the angle at circumference subtended by an arc. Angle 45 degrees is an angle at circumference that is subtended by arc CE. Arc CE also subtend another angle at circumference here. So the angle here is also 45 degrees. This angle 60 degrees is an angle at circumference that is subtended by arc CF. Arc CF also subtend another angle at the circumference here. So the angle here is also 60 degrees. Now we have the value of the interior opposite angles for this vertex of cyclic quadrilateral. It is 60 plus 45, which is 105 degrees. Now we can find out the value of angle Y. This is angle Y. This is interior angle next to angle Y. This is the interior angle opposite the interior angle just now. And this angle is the same as angle Y. So angle Y is 105 degrees. Or we can do it step by step. Angle here is 180 minus 105. Because when we add them up, these two angles equals 180 degrees. There are interior opposite angles, so it is 75. And this exterior angle is 180 minus 75, because they are on a straight line. And the angle on a straight line is 180 degrees. So the answer is again 105 degrees. Please do the quiz.